Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to descale this Keurig K Duo coffee maker. It's got the K cup on one side and a coffee maker on the other. And we're going to use Keurig's descaling solution. You only need one bottle. Um, you can descale it with white vinegar. It takes longer and you have to use a little bit more white vinegar. I'm going to show you how to do that in a separate video. Keurig says it's okay to use white vinegar, it just takes longer. So today we're going to do descaling with this. So when you buy the solution, it's not apparent where the directions are. But if you turn around, you'll see this little thing that says peel. And once you peel it back, it reveals the directions. And it actually has directions just for K Duo brewers. It has directions for other types, normal Keurig machines and that. But we're going to we're going to do the K Duo brewer. So you're going to empty. You want to make sure your reservoir is empty. So we emptied the reservoir. We're going to dump this whole thing inside that reservoir. Then we're going to fill this up with water and dump it in the reservoir. Okay, so here I am dumping in. this st The stuff from Keurig doesn't have a smell. They say it's a citric acid or something. But... Okay, so then I'm going to go fill this exact container up with water. Okay, so now I've filled this up with water and I'm going to dump it into here. Okay, so the Keurig directions are real specific, and they're really good. So we've got that solution in the back. We're going to first, we're going to do the K-cup side. So make sure you don't have a K-cup in. Make sure you've got something that can hold 12 ounces. So we're going to press the K-cup side and 12. So it's going to brew that solution through the K-cup side. Once the K-cup side's done, then we're going to do the coffee pot side. So you're able to descale both sides at the same time. Okay, so it's brewing the descale solution through on the K-cup side. Okay, so we're just going to dump out that solution in the sink. Okay, so the directions aren't as good as I thought. So after just doing 12 ounces through the K-cup side, my add water lights on. So I'm not able to do the the coffee pot side with any of the solution because it won't work if you add water lights on. So we're going to have to add some more water on to the reservoir. Okay, so I filled the water up to the max line with the reservoir up with water to the max line. So it's got the solution and some water, more water in it. Now we're going to do the coffee pot side. So we're going to make sure we don't have a filter or no coffee in. We're going to close that, make sure this is empty. We're going to do the coffee pot side and 12. So that's going to brew that solution through the same heating element that on the coffee pot side. Now there's one important step. Don't forget, so when you when this is done brewing, it's going to take about 10-15 minutes. Come over, we're going to come over here and hit this, this cafe, this green button here. We're going to, so it'll turn red when it's done brewing the coffee. We're going to press and hold that button to turn the burner plate off. We don't want that, so we're going to empty the solution out. We don't want the coffee pot sitting here with the burner on. So we need to turn that burner on when we're letting the solution soak. Okay, so the coffee maker is done brewing on its side. We're going to dump this out, but we want to make sure and turn that warming plate off. So the button's red. That means the warming plate's on. So we're going to press and hold this button until that warming plate goes off. Now the warming plate's off. Now we can let this thing sit here for 30 minutes and let it soak. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. I rinsed this reservoir out and filled it up with fresh water. And I'm just going to repeat the process. So I'm going to come over here. We're going to do the 12 ounce on the cake upside. Make sure there's nothing in there. We're going to do the 12. After I do the 12, I'm going to add a little bit more water and we'll do a, we'll do a brew on the coffee pot side. Okay, so we ran the 12 ounces through on the cake up side. Now I had to add a little bit more water. I've got it all the way up to the max. Now we're gonna do the same, we're gonna do what we did on the coffee pot side. Make sure we don't have any coffee in there, no filter. We're gonna come over here and hit the coffee pot side and 12. So that's gonna do a rinse of that solution through the coffee pot side. Okay, so we've brewed the fresh water through here. We're gonna throw that away 
and you should be ready to go. If you could, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.